Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Joanna Fox Waddell was born on this day, September 24, 1838, in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Her father was a brick mason who moved his family to Natchez when Joanna was a baby. In 1861, Fox, along with two other Natchez ladies, traveled to the front lines of the Civil War to serve as volunteer nurses in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. Supposedly, at some point during the war, Fox was given the flag of the Natchez Rifles, which she hid under her petticoat to protect it from Union soldiers. Near the end of the war, Fox became the matron of the Confederate Hospital in Meridian, Mississippi, where she met and married George G. Waddell, a Louisiana druggist. The couple eventually lived in Baton Rouge, where they operated a drugstore for many years. There, Joanna Fox Waddell became active in the Confederate Memorial Association. She died on January 3, 1899, and was buried in Magnolia Cemetery, which ironically is located in the middle of the Baton Rouge battlefield. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Smith, and I'm a senior at Trinity Episcopal Day School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.